what's up you all welcome back to my channel let's make some beni which is also called zayzam seed this process of beni can be eaten with rice yam cassava and you can also make it as porridge for babies so i have 500 grams of beni which i bought from asia shop and uh, i'll be using more, uh, the mortal and pencil and two cube of maggi and a teaspoon of salt some people also add dry fish shrimps into it so at first i have to wash my beni so normally it's the same process if you haven't checked my beni cake that is zisamen cake which i did months ago it's on the channel it's the same process the only difference is that i'm not going to put no sugar into it and i'm and i'm going to pound it so you first wash your beni very nice and uh, sieve it so i will then add 300 milliliter water into the beni and allow it to cook till the water get dry it has to boil after the water has dried then you start to stir you have to stir until uh, it has the golden brown color You can see at this point it has the golden brown color and it is ready to be pounded. You can also put it in mixer but you have to be careful. You don't have to mix it too much. It will be oily and it will not have the powder form. So I'm adding my jumbo cube and my salt and I'm going to pound it slowly till I have the powder form I want. Growing up as a child in Sierra Leone, after the holidays, when returning back to college or to boarding school, the first thing your parents have to pack for you is penny. You don't have to go back in campus or boarding home without taking penny. That means your holiday is not complete. Because this is something you can go to at any point. You just have to cook some rice and add some penny. It's full with vitamins. And so, and you don't have to worry now, this Corona time, nobody's coming back home, nobody's traveling. So just look this video and get yourself some penny. It's very easy to make and it's very simple. Yeah, just look the video and you'll see how to get. So this is my penny, it's finished. So I'm going to go ahead and boil my cassava with my garden eggs, which I'll be eating it. So, and it can save, you can have it for three months, four months just have to put it in a closed container and close it so here i have my garden eggs two let me say three garden eggs with uh, cassava which i'm going to boil for 15 minutes i'm just going to add some salt into it and boil for 15 minutes so my cassava and my garden eggs has been boiling for 15 minutes what i'm going to do i'm going to divide my cassava from my garden eggs so my garden eggs i'm going to add one maggi cube into it and i'm also going to add my hot pepper this is something you should have in your fridge so if you haven't seen the video you can also check out the video i have a video of it how i did it so i'm going to smash everything together So guys, my native breakfast is finished. So I'll just add my smashed garden eggs to my cassava. Then I'll add some of the beni into it. Mm. Then I'll also add some butter. Then that's it. Maybe you put some salt, depending if you haven't add salt into your cassava. And that's it. That is uh, your native breakfast. Cassava and beni with jakatu. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to my old subscribers. And please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, yeah, and uh, thank you for your support. And uh, please help me to promote Sierra Leone food by sharing it. Okay? Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.